Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing Stationers. This um, game, I've been playing it for um, some time now. Um, it came, in in fact, I started playing Stationers before really getting into Space Engineers. It's very similar to uh, Space Engineers, but um, it uh, focuses more on on micromanaging. Um, space engineers is um, simpler than uh, in some regards than than uh, stationers, and uh, in fact, uh, stationers is um, inspired by or based in space engineers, uh, but with a with a twist with this uh, micromanagement twist, and it has been. Um, one of my favorite games uh, since I first played it. Um, okay, so we are playing the um, Escape Mars scenario. Uh, in this uh, scenario, you have to survive uh, and uh, build a rocket to escape Mars. You're stranded in Mars, uh, pretty much like the, the Martian. So I will start uh, a series on escape, escaping Mars and I will go through some of the basic features of the game. So it seems that we are, we crash landed or I don't know if uh, exactly what's the, the story. Uh, there is this like, um, spaceship uh, debris here and we have some some things lying around so the first thing we we have to to get is um, some basic uh, atmosphere you know, or an enclosed uh, area with some atmosphere to grow food because this is this is um, the the first thing that we we need to to keep um, to to have uh, to to keep going right like uh, food um, a food source. So we have like these, uh, I don't know, granola bar or cereal bars um, that will keep us alive for some time. But as soon as um, we uh, run out of, um, of uh, these uh, cereal bars, we will be in trouble. Also, the other thing that is important is this um, to, to have power. So there is this uh, portable solar panel. Uh, that we can um, where we can charge our batteries and I see that there's some sort of base here ah, okay so there was some accident here this is the first time I play this scenario um, I usually play the moon the moon base scenario and there's something here as well Okay, um, so you are going to to follow along with me in this in this um, game, exploring what's going on here. So this is some duct tape. Uh, the duct tape is useful when you damage your spacesuit. This can happen frequently. Uh, okay, and I myself, I have a, a, a charger here. So, and there's some other structure. Uh, this also looks like some ship. Crash landed, and, or um, what is this? Or is this some sort of mine? Abandoned mine shaft or something. I don't know. Ah, look, there's something here what is that a, can a canister what is that it, there's some gold ah this is some mining structure well 
in this scenario we start with um, with several things already in place and these are gas tanks what is this like uh, water volatiles and uh, this is oxygen now uh, they are like little loot here and there oh, I like this scenario okay but we this is a, a time race uh, this is a canister a gas canister <coughs> hand grenade Ooh. ah but it is broken and some gold okay it seems like something went south here some sort of accident okay this is iron so um what do we need one of the first thing we need another duct tape we need to um one of the first things we need to 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 make is the auto lathe this is like a 3d printer to print um, the equipment we need and this is oh ah there's a charger there open we cannot open cannot interact as the device is not powered okay we cannot interact with that we have to power this as well so one of the first thing is to give this power and there there's a bunch of stuff where there's a lot of material lying around so material won't be uh, materials won't be uh, our first problem we have plenty of materials i need to decide where to collect them i i guess we are collecting everything here because um, i'm full of stuff I will also place this. Uh, I wanted to go upstairs to see maybe uh, a good place for this um, charger will be upstairs, right? Where it can get enough sun. Ah, there's. Ah, I can emergency power open. Ah, there are batteries. Well. I think this is an, an easier scenario than the moon base one. Oh, more granola bars. Uh, let's place this here. There. And let's collect the cereal bars. Find a way to produce the basic materials you need to get manufacturing underway. Ingot, uh, iron, copper and gold okay so this is like a some sort of tutorial scenario i guess but this is the first time i play this scenario but it's okay so one thing i want to do in this series is like a, a little comparison with um with space engineers uh because it has um, some similitudes but also some uh, important differences and what i think they were doing is um, it's like they they saw space engineers and they thought that they could um, do things in a different way so this uh, depending on what's your playing style this uh, this is a, an advantage or um, it's a drawback so one thing is that uh, stationers have this um, micromanagement system where for example uh, power like to to transmit power you need to to make like these actual cables connected to each other 
so in space engineers once you um, connect two blocks together for example you connect a battery to a framework to a metal framework then automatically all the 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 the, the blocks connected to these frameworks they have power in uh, stationers uh, this is not the case if you want to um, give power to a device you need to connect it uh, with cables and you need to um, make these cables right you need to uh, to produce the cables with uh, some machine some factory Yes, and soon enough we will start mining, but I want just to f to to collect things and keep them keep them in uh, in a single place. So I have a battery here. Yes, and we have to keep an eye on battery charge. I don't know what's that. Ah, uh, this is another battery, and this is portable light. Okay. And what is this rocket engine? Uh -huh. Yes, this this. It seems that we crash landed somehow. So these two things we need: power and uh, food. Now the question is: How? Ah, uh, I think to be able to power. the problem with the power here is this cable connections right this cable this cable is disconnected from where I have to find out how to power the door is this this not open I cannot open this emergency. Access card. Ah, I require an access card. Okay. Let me see if I have the access card. Um, let's see. Usually this is in the uniform. Where is the uniform? Ah, here. No, I don't have access cards. I don't have an access card. This is what it says that I need, an access card. But I see that there's power. Ah, okay, there's power there. Okay, so... What does that mean? That means that... I see that here's there's a connection down there okay but there's power in the batteries upstairs and they come where is where is this wreckage yeah probably I have to drill my way in um, that's ah uh, there's even okay I think I have to just open my way we don't need that okay let's see So I think uh, I need to get the these frames out so we can access the, the interior. There we are. So what's up with this? So this is um, a power box and uh, this is uh, this is off. Ah, there we go. Now.
Ah, but it doesn't have power. Okay. So... There. Now it has power. And it's on. Okay, but for some reason I cannot... Now power is coming here. Okay, now I can use the... These are recycler. And here um, we have like an enclosed... Oh, more things. There's an enclosed area back there. Space pack. Okay, I'm not sure what that is. And the mining belt. Ah, I thought we had the mining belt. Or I, we have a mining belt as well. Okay, mining is done with a mining belt. But for some reason... Can we open this? We cannot, right? It's still... Ah, there's a missing connection. Okay, it's not connected. Okay, so we need cable to connect here. To the door. The door is not connected. So this is like a, a a base, right? Probably this we can put this in the recycler and get some materials out of it. There we go. Turn it on. And then to the centrifuge. So what happens is that the um, the recycler will um, like mill whatever you you feed into it, and then the centrifuge will separate. You you get like this uh, regent mix like mixed materials. And the centrifuge will separate them. Okay, but for some reason it's not... I don't get anything out of it. From the wreckage. What's the recycle cons? It doesn't have anything right now. And for the centrifuge... I don't remember. Can we... Okay, no. I don't know what's this. Um, bars doing here. Because we cannot. Can we take this out? No, not with this. Maybe with that. With the wrench. No. With the grinder. Ah, well, it, it says some help, right? Yes. Right. Okay. So. We cannot get anything out of it. Maybe it needs... Either it needs more material or this uh, wreckage doesn't produce any, any material. That could be. Okay. So... Now I think we can pick stuff up and we should put all these things in the in the locker so we we have a single place to keep all our stuff that's there that's there and also this then we can decide what to do I think I will also keep food here because there's some so much lying around. I don't know if we can already access the the other rooms. 
Ah, well, I think it needs... Maybe it will tell me that I need the card. I don't know. Okay, so, but we have some food to, to go around. Um, and since we are starting with a lot of stuff um, already... Already made... It shouldn't be that difficult to to get to get us um, surviving from our own food production. Yes, more wreckage, but I don't know really if this is producing anything. I put it here. There's nothing else. <coughs> um, okay, so... Some walls, duct tape, and more duct tape. What else do we need? So that's everything here, and now let's collect what we have. Ooh. What we have here? Um, it seems that these wreckage parts they don't produce anything. Okay, so uh, this is what an oxygen canister. This is important because we need to refill our oxygen tanks every now and then so what do what we need for the um, to survive is food power and oxygen there's also the waste tank so i will show you show you so here uh, to, to the left you can see what's on the suit on, on the suit we have an air tank a waste tank uh, battery and filters so the air tank contains oxygen for us to breathe the um, waste tank um, it collects our waste right so this is um, like we we generate waste of course and it's collected in this tank this is in that sense more uh, these survival things are more realistic than space engineers right so you have to keep an eye on more stuff as i said this could be for some it's a good thing for others it's uh they don't want to 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 um focus so much on survival and they want to focus more on building so this is um, different styles of game and then you have the um, the filters the co2 filters that will uh, somehow scrub the co2 from <clears throat> the air in your suit i think this has um, the effect of uh, of uh, prolonging like the the lifespan of the of the tanks of the oxygen okay and we have a portable tank full of oxygen so we can refill um, our oxygen here and this is fuel and this one I don't know what what is in here so it seems that we don't have to worry about oxygen at the beginning 
Okay, so I think that's it from this from this um, place. I think we don't have any more. And what's that? A cartridge, a tracker. Okay. That's a tracker, but uh, we already have a, a tracker card. So we can go inside and store our things here. This tracker, I think we don't need. Some pipes, air. So let's see. That's it's uh, a lot of stuff. Maybe I should get rid of this frame here because it's not doing anything really. Uh, is this no? It's with a wrench, I think. We need the wrench. No, the. The grinder, the grinder. There. So I think we don't need that frame for now. We can't. What is that? Ah, this is steel frame. Okay, this is steel frame. The, the, you have in the game, you have um, iron frames and steel frames so I will show you you see that uh, we have like these rocks popping out of the terrain those are ores different type of ores and you mine them and there's iron uh, and to in order to uh, look what I found here cable oh that's very good um in order to to use the the ores you need to refine this 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 uh, ore that you that we find the, and we can mine and uh, the way uh, we do that is with a furnace so there are different type of furnaces one is the electric furnace like the arc furnace i should say and the other one is a furnace that uh, needs fuel and this is this ore right here is iron so i can show you how to mine it so the first thing is that we need to to get the belt currently we have a belt with tools and we need to switch we need to we need to switch the belt and there's the mining belt now we have the mining belt let's close all this other and we have a mining tool you have we have to turn it on and there we are we we can mine this is um, we are mining iron right now and with uh, with iron ore we can make iron ingots and also we have as i was saying steel ingots steel ingots to make steel ingots you need um, carbon right we we need some coal so we need a mixture of coal with with iron but you cannot um, produce steel ingots in a in an arc furnace you need like the the other furnace uh, that works with uh, fuel <coughs> so yeah, th there are 
different uh, levels of complexity in the game so the way you craft things and the way you build things also the survival um, elements also the game has like uh, this uh, fluid um, dynamics where you can create compress um, compre uh, pressurized environments right um, but these pressurized environments they like pressure and temperature are taken into account in space engineers you can have a you can generate a, a pressurized environment every time you you create an enclosed uh, environment you can have li like this um, pressurized of course you will need like this uh, oxygen tanks and, and vents but in stationers it's another level of complexity because in space engineers you don't have uh, pressure or temperature and here to my uh, top uh, right you can see that all these environment variables are are displayed right we have the temperature we have the pressure currently the pressure is 2 kPa is the Martian pressure okay I, I think we have enough um, iron I don't know if we can already open the door here well we could also now I, I recalled that there's a way to open No, wait a second. Yes, there's a way to open the doors in an emergency. Ah, this one is not powered as well. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, is this. I don't know if this is a pressurized environment right here. Is it? I think we're going to go in. Hmm, I think we can just open the door. Is this a window? I'm not sure. Let's take a tool. And do we need the grinder? I think and now first we need the wrench and then Hunger. Okay now the hunger is kicking in. Ah, so ah, we are in. So it's not a pressurized. My fear was that it was a a, a pressurized environment, and there's a crowbar here. This is not. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a bunch of batteries here. Okay, there's this crowbar. We have to take this battery out. Okay, we don't need the crowbar right now. And we can put it here and let's take one that it's charged. There we are. Now we we have power. Ah, uh, but this thing is not somehow connected it seems. What is that? Uh, it seems that they 
No, they changed the UI of this machine, I think. This is the auto laid. Okay. What do we have in here? Uh, copper. Plastic sheets. Tool belt. Okay, some more goodies here. Okay, that's cool. Somehow this... Okay. I don't know how this power um, works. Let's turn it on and open. Can we open the door? No. Ah, maybe it's disconnected. Okay, so let's power it off. Probably the, the best thing I could do is just get rid of the door itself. Uh, but first, let's get rid of these other things. Some frames. She steel sheets and cable. This is the heavy version. Oh, but I have cable, so I could, I could just. I will show you how to do this. We can just. Um, Caught here, you will see how the system works. So you see that we have this cable coming from the the, the breaker here. The breaker has a a battery, and there's a power connection here to the door and a data connection or a connection port, I I should say, and then. Wha what we have to do is to connect uh, a cable to the to the power port and to the main power here we have to make like this um, it's called a three-way corner we need a three-way corner this one is it let's pick this up and we have to connect here now the the door is connected and we can open the door great so i don't know for what reason the other connection it seems like this there's a problem with this connection right here if we turn this on it's red, you see it's not charging really now the, it's uh, empty and it seems that this um, breaker here with this uh, battery is not connected to any power source and the power source that we have currently is the batteries I saw upstairs But also, if we, let's do that, we can take the crowbar and force open the door. This is what I was, I remember now. So when a door is closed, because it doesn't have power, you can always uh, manipulate it with a, with a crowbar and open it. So, okay, so now we have like an easy way to access the base. Um, ah, I am hungry, okay. Uh, but it's these things are so strange, all these bars here. Um, I think I will get rid of it. So what should we do? 
um, it wants me to make the iron, the copper and the gold that's not difficult with a uh, furnace so but we need damn it we need to charge this because I fear that we only have the power that that we have in the batteries so if we want to keep uh, a power source uh, and maybe this is yes now I think I know what what happened here one thing is that ah here it is look guys here it is this is the problem that the power here is disconnected uh, also we have this burn um, cable here and this is why we don't have power on the on the breaker beneath and there was some debris here as well so what should we do but the other thing is that I don't know what is the power source here okay so here there is there was a, a corner connection we can restore that there ah no but not this one oops not that one is of the heavy type so uh, this is something to keep in mind the also another level of complexity of the game is that um, you have like these power loads and what that means is that if you have too much electric load on one circuit and you have the uh, weak cable the cable will burn so this is another another uh, level of complexity of the game so you see that uh, we found this um, cable this um, heavy cable type and this is what we have to use here there that's the right type of cable and we're going to connect and this should restore oh yes I forgot about that my hunger is critical now but the, the power should be restored now so we take one of the granola bars and we just Eat it, and that's it. Okay, now the power here should be restored, I think. Yeah, you see, now it's green. Oops, but it's. I don't know really if it's restored it doesn't seem to be it's just saying that it's discharging now no there's still some issue with the power okay we have to figure that out as well So this, where is the cable I, ha I need? I need to have um, access to the cable or I need to troubleshoot this cable connection. Here is, is a cable, yeah. 
Okay. And this cable this cable is connected to another we need to see where is this cable connected to okay ah uh, there uh -huh. it comes here let's go upstairs and check this out Because with the auto lathe, then we can uh, we should make the furnace, and then and then we should. Oh, this is yes, but I should put everything to charge. let's uh, place another battery because we are always running the risk of running out of power uh-huh okay um, let's take one of these big batteries as well and put them to charge we shouldn't risk running out of power and the next thing is to create this pressurized environment aha uh -huh, there's a connection there let's take this flare here that other flare there and that other flare there I think we don't need them at the moment let's drop them down Mm-hmm, okay. So... Not sure what's going on here. The cable comes here and what is that? It's connected to something down there. Uh, not sure. uh-huh yeah that there is the connection right there ah but okay but this this cable we restored here that was burned it's it's not going anywhere right okay I thought I restored this cable here, but it's not going anywhere. Ah, uh, this all this part is damaged. Okay, all that section there is damaged. Okay. Lots of things to do. So this cable is not going anywhere. What I what I think is that the power source uh, there's a cable there. The power source should have been something like solar panels, and this is what I think it's missing up there. And there are this there is a cable up there, but I don't know uh, there. Okay but i'm not sure where that cable is supposed to be connected to uh -huh. okay i need to to figure this out where can i go so that i can figure this out
I need the yes, this. I think I, I have to go inside. I think I will be need, needing that or not. I, I can. I need to get inside that room with the batteries because I think the problem lies power, no. ah, I already have low power no, I cannot build there, okay let me see if I could and this is not charged yet Can I force it with uh, no? I cannot force it. Force to open. No, I cannot force it. I will have just to break in. In the old fashioned way. In the old fashioned way. Okay, um, let's see, there, we are in, okay, I think, ah, uh, this is fuel here, and what is this, a fuel generator, there's a fuel generator, there are all these cables going around, and we have all this power gas fuel generator I think the fuel this generator is the one generating the power and there's there's stuff here tools pipes frames ah more food that's not a bad thing really a wrench okay we should place the wrench here okay but um, still the question remains of what's the problem with that connection down there what's the problem with that connection Uh, okay. Ah, uh, there's a sensor. Okay, that's a sensor. What kind of sensor is that? I'm not sure. Uh, uh huh, okay. I could just. No, what is it? I think is the, is the crowbar. Let's take out these panels. Well, this is yet another level of complexity. All this. All these, um, yeah, this is um, 
in space engineers you have like these um, um, structures that you will build and every time you build them uh, you upgrade them like with a welding torch and in space engineers there are several layers like there's the the there's the the basic structure I can show you there's the basic structure that you can place like that uh, and then you have the The next, uh, the next thing you have to do is weld the, like weld the, weld the sheets, right? And then you can weld again and and make it f uh, full, like enclosed. And then you can place uh, further layers of walls and uh, panels and stuff. Also, inside of each of these structures, you can uh, place the cables that go um, through the structure and pipes as well. And as I was saying, um, the, the game um, supports all these... Uh, um, fluid uh, mechanics with gas and liquids so it's uh, really detailed it's all this uh, micromanagement thing okay but now i think i should uh, should uh, take one of these batteries and charge them in the directly here because Otherwise, we are risking... To... we're risking to... Um, to... find ourselves out of power. So this uh, blue and red means that it's the battery is dis dis being discharged. So that's why I think this cable here is not connected to anything. Also, um, I don't know why. Ah, look at that. Ah, you see this. This is the problem. <laughs> so yeah that's one problem power but this cable comes from here okay yeah but this is broken you see this is broken so I need to cut that off let's put this here for the moment I need to cut that of ah, and also this this is broken here so that was uh, the mystery so we need to connect like this three-way thingy and the uh, Now it's connected. Okay, that's connected. But it could be that because I don't see any. Still, there's a problem because this doesn't turn on, but probably it's due to to some other connection some other cable um, that is not well connected well this has power this this ah but the power comes from the battery but there's no power coming externally and why is that that's strange
That is very strange. So it should come from here, right? This is the power is coming out of here. Then there are two ways. One is uh, to this breaker here, and this breaker is working fine. And the other one is this one. It's coming this way and going down there. But something happens that it's not working. So I will... Ah, look. Is that the problem here? You see that cable is broken. So many points where the well, where the system is failing, well, the connection is broken, and finally we should have power now. Yes, we have power. You see, now it's blinking between blue and green, and this means that it's charging. Okay, finally also we have power in the charger so this was critical wow everything that I had to <laughs> you see I almost took half of the base out because of I hate this dirt here why they left this dirt here Okay, we should um, gather everything and put everything in in place, right? Because if we tidy up, then ah, you forgot about the battery. We have to replace the battery of the suit. We're running out of power in the suit. So what I was saying is that if you if we tidy up then we we increase security because <coughs> when things are not in their place then it's a security hazard. You can trip over stuff or you can just simply not find what you're looking for in a time critical scenario and yes that's not good so later on we will rebuild um, We will rebuild the base. Ah, look, we we have now everything. So I think that's enough for this video. Um, we will continue in the next of the series of um, escaping Mars, and in the next one, I think we should have like um, we should start. Um, processing the ores we are mining and the next thing would be to to have a pressurized environment uh, maybe we should have this place pressure tied right and have some some crops okay guys so that's everything for now and i hope to see you in the next video uh, if you enjoyed the video then hit the like button this is cyber settler signing off <laughs>